good, YouTube worship boy? Guess who? Mondo one next night. I'm back with another. Oh. I'm taking trips, floating through the sky Like I'm Mark McFly Went back to the year 89 Back when short was fine the Last message she sent wasn't mine Yeah, she just wasted time She ended up pregnant, started lying Yes, trying to say it was mine And, and, to, days You know you gotta wait on it Banger! You already know it's always a little session with your boy, my dope. But I ain't gonna lie to you, you know, I'm just kind of waking up. Last night was, last night was a roller coaster. Your boy is still trying to recover. I will let y'all know how that went, and I will let y'all know how this week went, because this week has been kind of crazy. I'm like, whoa, massive week this week, but it was kind of entertaining, you know. <laughs> now, let me go ahead and start rolling up. You already know, it's that time of the year. Let's go ahead and roll up. Let's go ahead and get it. Why are we still talking? I don't even know. Mind the way you still talking. Let's get it. You already know what the time is. It's time to go ahead and roll up. You already know. I hope you rolling you up something too. Are you rolling up? Go ahead and match with your boy. Only thing you gotta do is roll you up some or smoke you some too. I, well, I'm smoking too. You already know. I'm weak. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. It's that time of the year. It's time for me to go wake bake. Although this is like in the afternoon. It's probably about two o'clock again. But it's all good because this is how we're gonna start our day. I kind of started my day kind of late, but it's all good. It's all good. So, while we break this good old greenery green, green, like I'm smoking on that extreme. Could you see yourself being in a stoner movie? You remember last time I asked you what was your favorite stoner movie? Can you see yourself being in one? Me? Yeah. I'll probably got them kill that shit. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna be on or how I'm gonna be acting. I'm probably like one of them slow ass stoners in the movie where I just be there or I don't know what the hell I'll be doing, but I'm pretty sure whatever I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna goddamn kill that shit. How is how is y'all day going? You know, in the life of a stoner, you already know how y'all day going. So my day is kind of starting late, but you know, as long as my day is still started, it ain't no problem to being a little late. You already know, just like going to school late. You can go to school late every day and still make the eight on the road. You already know. Go to school late and still get perfect attendance because you're still there. You're just late. <laughs> Wait, you can still get perfect attendance for being late, right? I mean, as, as long as you're still there and don't miss a whole period of class. I'm hot right now. I woke up. So they had a clip from last night. Not last night. That clip was actually from, like, earlier yesterday. And I smoked it. <laughs> and I am high. And then now I'm just thinking about what the hell am I going to eat after I finish rolling up and after I smoke. I don't know. What do y'all go to like go tos whenever y'all get high? Like what kind of like what kind of snacks, food places, food you cook? Like what are your go tos? Like what is like your number one stoner meal or stoner snack or stoner? Whenever you get high, first what's what's something you crave when you get high? Like uh, for me, I ain't a lot. But James has been but James been snacking a little bit. So something I just thought about. Um, because I had just seen this video of somebody had passed out off of smoking, right? So, I remember back in the day, I was like smoking with these two dudes. Well, one of them, I was cool with the other one, I didn't really know like that. And we were smoking at that dude, I didn't know like that crib. Not at, in his crib, like just in his front yard. So I remember like in the midst of smoking, like right when the session ended, I felt myself kind of like losing, you know, conscious. And I just felt my, my energy draining. I'm like, oh shit, some shit's gonna go down. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna walk away because I don't want them seeing me when I got them collapsed, right? Because I already know it's gonna collapse. So I walked away, right? I walked around the corner. Next thing you know, I went, bam, right on the ground, on some rocks. I didn't feel it though. Surprisingly, I did not feel it. But um, when I was laying there, right? So, you know, it took me a minute to like catch myself. Not a minute, but it took me a few seconds. So then after a few seconds, I caught myself. The dude that I was cool with, he walked up on me. He was like, bro, you good? You good? You good? I'm like, hell yeah, and I just started laughing. He was like, bro, get up. You laying on dirt, bro, get up. I was like, bro, I'm high as fuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to go ahead and pearl it up real quick. We're gonna start a session. The session is gonna begin in less than a minute or two, or maybe three, I'm just like, the session's gonna start very soon though. Go ahead and get ready, because next time y'all see me, Line's gonna be rolled, and we're gonna be sitting by the roller ball. Actually, I think I'm gonna probably stop rolling right here and start rolling back over there. I don't even know why I came over there. Maybe because I'm at a table and it's kind of more cool because, you know, I got to set up like right here. It's all cool, but, you know, 
back to the OG spot. You already know. But like I said, catch y'all at the session. See y'all in like two. See y'all in like one second. I think we know what time it is, right? You know what time it is? Hey, you over there. You know what time it is? Ain't nobody even over there. But I think we know what time it is. Lighters up. Spark. Let's get it. Let get it. You already know. It's that time of the year. Shit. This is like a wake and bake for your boy Mondo. Although it's about 2.45. But anyways, let's get this session started. Alright, so um I do wanna start doing a little you know, something a little new to my channel. Probably like doing like taste testing. I do really want to start doing public experiments, start doing like, you know, the gold digger pranks. I ain't gonna lie to you, I be kind of dressed bummy most of my times anyway. See, the only thing is with the gold digger prank, I gotta get a new whip. Or I don't gotta get a new whip, I can rent a whip, or you know. I, I, you see that pack of fronto right there that's missing? That has fell. I gotta get that from behind the couch. Then I gotta put some more tape on it. That fronto fell. I don't know how it fell because all these other frontos and packers of backwoods and um, rellos and I got frontos that's at the top too up here. Up there, you see that the dark brown pack all the way up there. Those are frontos too. They're a different type though. Let's go ahead and start smoking. Let's go ahead and start smoking. I'm gonna give y'all a rundown of what happened this week. Do that for a thumbnail. Before we even get into it, so if you live in an apartment and you you may see a roach, that means your apartment is dirty. You gotta think about like you got mad other people that stay in your building. Then on top of that, you can't control what happens outside of your building. Like I can't go outside and like you know protect the whole building. You know we got maintenance people and that's their job, but I guess they're not doing their job. Cause I guess somebody in my building got roaches. I mean, I mainly see them on the main floor, but it was like one day this week. I was in the bathroom. I got that spray where you can like spray around the corners and it lasts like six months. I was using the bathroom. And as I was using the bathroom, I was sitting there. And then next thing you know, it left side of my foot, right? A damn roach was running up on me. So goddamn, you know, I had to hop up. I was going to just stomp it, but I ain't had no shoes on. You know, I'm like literally just wearing socks. So goddamn, I'm thinking like, all right. And I ain't have nothing in the bathroom that I could quickly just crush it with. I mean, I had the soap, but I was like, let me go get that spray because I ain't trying to, you know, put a stain on the wall or anything like that. So I ran, I went and got the spray. I opened the spray up. You know, I went back in the bathroom. I was looking for the roach, found him. Sprayed him. And then they say, no, he stopped moving. So I'm like, all right, you know, maybe he did. I'm gonna finish using the bathroom, then I'm gonna clean the roach up, throw him out the balcony. When I went back to use the bathroom, right? I'm using the bathroom. And guess what happens? The roach ran back up on me, and that was crazy. Like, he literally ran up on me full speed. I'm playing a real good game of Call of Duty, too. But, like, I'm, like, very aware of my surroundings. That, that roach ran up on me. I was like, oh, shit. I thought it was somebody how quick that motherfucker ran up on me. So then that's when I grabbed the, the rope spray or the, you know, the ant or insect spray. And I just started spraying him again. I was like, all right, I'm going to flip him over with the, uh, you know, the, the part that was spraying it at the spray. I flipped him over with that. Then I just started spraying him again. I got good in his face. I said, brr, brr, brr. I was like, yeah, you learned your motherfucking lesson. But anyways, yeah. So he, he was dead then, finished using the bathroom. Then I threw him off the balcony. Cause I mean, hell, you're not wanted here. You came in the wrong apartment Saturday night, which was yesterday. I went to semi mini kickback, and we had a good session. We all rode up four blunts each. Like it felt like we were smoking for a minute. It was only three of us. They wanted to drink. I'm not a drinker like that, so I was like, fuck, I guess I'm gonna drink. So I don't remember how many shots we took. I'm not a drinker. After the session. I think I had to drink a lot, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, cause when I got to the crib, I literally collapsed. Like, I didn't even make it to my room. I came in the living room, I said, bam, right on the couch. Then, um, when I would like woke up, my stomach was going through hell. Literally, hell in the cell. I had to get up, and I had ran to the bathroom, 
Like, I'm slipping in the bathroom. So I'm like running in there and like, I'm like slipping. I'm almost about to fall. I almost hit my head on the sink. You know, just trying to make it to the toilet and throw up. Like, I was so close to not making it to the toilet. So close. Matter of fact, I got to run it back a little bit, so. so the other day, I had a, a next Friday moment, like how Craig Daddy had. Y'all remember that scene where he was like, I think they, he got a burrito and he was like stuck in traffic and had to use the bathroom so bad. I have never in my life had that happen to me like that before. Like the other day, that shit hit me so hard. And I was so far from the crib. I don't know why I didn't think to pull over at like a gas station, Walmart, something like that. But my crib was the only thing in my mind. Like when I got kind of close, I was like five minutes from the crib. I felt that shit, and that shit had my heart racing. I started goddamn like shaking a lot. Like, bro, what the fuck? That shit was terrible. Made it to the crib though. I ain't got them. Got them blown out. Only thing I'm thinking about is what the hell I'm about to eat. See, by my crib, I got a Wendy's. I got like three, four different Chinese spots. I don't really eat none of them though, like that. I go to this one Chinese spot. Kind of closer towards a different side of my city, not too far. Um, we got, I said Wendy's. We got Pizza Hut, Hungry Howie's, KFC. We got a Chex Grill. I don't know if y'all know anything about that. Chick fil A clothes. We got Taco Bell. We got like two different pizza spots. We got a Mexican restaurant too. I don't think I'm in the mood for any of that though. I don't know what I'm in the mood for. I'm gonna share this one song, new song I just started working on too. I just started working on this yesterday. I did this while I was dropping too. I just, I don't know, I just, I just be like, I be feeling it more when I'm driving. I'm like, all right, I'm ready to record this shit now. So I just put my headphones in while I'm driving. You know, I have my windows rolled up and just be driving. You know, of course I be paying attention. Like, you know, I be driving, I be goddamn, you know, recording while I'm driving. I'm like, um, I'm mad here killing that. Yeah, I'm beating that shit. Goddamn, goddamn, goddamn. That's crazy. It's almost Halloween. This year went by quick. Check out that song real quick. I'm mad here killing that pussy. I'm beating that shit. Goddamn, goddamn, goddamn. I'm mad here killing that pussy. I'm beating that shit. Goddamn, goddamn, goddamn. I'm mad here killing that pussy. I'm beating that shit. Goddamn, goddamn, goddamn. I'm mad here killing that pussy. I'm beating that shit. I shoot my shot, you know I ring bells That bitch a wish, she like cat spells I kicked her out, now she in the motel Now she wanna cry, I said, oh well Goddamn, I'm high, you can't shoot from hell You can't tend to reach, you got wrist man You just told a lie, then you just fell Now you wanna see me rot in a jail cell Damn, I said, yeah, you know I'm high as shit Damn, now I feel like all my creepy shit Damn, now I'm about to go in for that bitch Damn, yeah, you know I have Man, that's trying to ask that. Now she about to call her mom. Now she about to call her dad. I don't really give a shit. You're a whole fake ad. Now I'm about to fuck your friend. Now I got the contact. Goddamn, I'm gone. Yeah. Goddamn, I'm high. Yeah. Goddamn, I'm lit. Yeah. I'ma talk my shit. Yeah. Just talking to me too, that's the crazy part. That motherfucker said, God damn, God damn. That's when I said, God damn, God damn. We both got damn, God damn. I'm about to go smash whatever I'm about to get. I'm thinking about it. I haven't had a burger in a minute. But I, I, I'm telling myself I need to make a burger because I'll be making the best bacon cheeseburger croissants. If I ain't never had one of those, y'all are asleep. So, how I do that, I get the croissants, cut them in half, put them in the oven. I, cook the, you know, hamburgers. Then I take them out of the oven, put ketchup, mayo, with some provolone cheese. That shit is that good. It is that good. You're asleep if you ain't had that. 
anyways, the blunt pretty much out, so I guess. Uh, and then I gotta head out in like, uh, like literally like five minutes. So I'm about to go ahead and probably put this out. Hit it one more time, I hit it one more time, you already know. I almost fell out again, I'm just fucking jealous, I was just playing. But anyways, I definitely appreciate all y'all for tuning in with your boy Mondo One Next. Until next time, make sure you always show love by liking and commenting. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe and click that bell. You don't want to miss no bangs with your boy Mondo because we always have the most of sessions, you already know. But until next time, it is your boy Mondo One X, and we are out.